Congresswoman Madeline Bordalia was pushing hard for a green light from the House Rules Committee to offer her Guam War Claims Amendment to this year's National Defense Authorization Act. PNC's Washington correspondent Matt Kay reports. Bordalia argues her latest version of Guam War Claims is fully paid for and long overdue based on the atrocities Guam inhabitants suffered during the island's World War II occupation by Japan. An earlier Bordalio bill was not offset by savings in other accounts and died in the Senate. But this year's version is paid for with Section 30 federal tax reimbursements above the 2014 level. The Congresswoman spoke about her failed efforts that year to win passage of war claims, especially for Guam's Philippine veterans, with many now gone. And most of my constituents on Guam are Filipinos. Uh, we went through World War II. One of my first pieces of legislation to be introduced into Congress was the war claims for our people. People from the uh, Commonwealth of the Northern Marianas received claims. We never received any claims for what we went through, and we were occupied just to the Philippines for four and a half years. The House Rules Committee had cleared 61 amendments for floor debate by Tuesday morning here, but not Bordalio's amendment. Bordalio's office was still hopeful war claims, and a second amendment to improve H-2B visa processing could still be cleared late in the day. Bordalio was less concerned about the fate of more than a quarter of a billion dollars of Guam military projects in the House Defense Bill. The House NDAA would authorize some $254 million in new Guam construction, including new housing at Anderson Air Force Base, a power upgrade from Harmon to Anderson, a Global Hawk maintenance hangar, an Air Force Reserve's medical training facility, munitions storage, and an Air Force satellite facility. The measure lifts all remaining restrictions on Guam civilian buildup funding, helps preserve Guam land holdings, promotes invasive species prevention, and calls for study of a broader role for the Guam Army National Guard to include the THAAD missile defense system. The House also plans to consider this week a separate bill to fund the NDAA spending. On Capitol Hill, this is Matt K.